flow, cadence, syncopation. There are many phrases used to describe a rapper's ability to effortlessly slide across the beat with a freedom of rhythm, but no matter which description you choose, they all come down to the rap flow methods and tactics we'll be discussing here today. In today's video, we'll be telling you 12 secrets about rap flow that nobody is mentioning. Sure, you might see the occasional video that tells you that rappers switch the flow and don't stay on one flow too long to keep it interesting, but you haven't heard an in-depth, full-length analysis of the hidden art of rap flow in such a real manner until this video. So okay, let's not waste any more of your time with this intro. Let's go in countdown order right here, right now with 12 rap secrets nobody tells you about. The number 12 rap secret nobody tells you about is the real definition of rap flow. The first place to start is obviously giving you a rock solid ironclad definition of what rap flow really means. After running YouTube's most subscribed channel on how to rap for almost a decade and coaching literally thousands of rappers from around the world, we found the best definition for rap flow is this, drum patterns in word form. That's it. That's the big mystery. Rap flow is drum patterns in word form. In other words, much like on any given beat, you have guitar patterns, string sections, horns, and what have you, you have an additional section of vocal instruments in word form, so to speak, represented by the drum-like pattern of your words. Now that you understand that rap flow is simply additional drum patterns in word form meant to be overlaid with the rhythm of the instruments and specifically the beat, rap flow secret number 11 11, rap flow plus rap beat is what makes hip hop addicting will help you understand what makes rap as an art form much more addictive than many other genres. It's the interaction between the active rhythm of the instruments along with the active rhythm of your flow, vocals and drum form, your voice, and so on. Therefore, the more you can think of your rap flow as an additional instrument that can be playing different notes, so to speak, through the creatively unpredictable choices you make as a writer, the more likely you are to make exciting decisions on what to do with your flow as a rap artist. Number Number 10 rap flow secret to help you improve your rap flow is playing a musical instrument helps. Now that you understand how crucial it is to understand the relationship between the flow and the beat, if you've ever reached any skill level of musical instrument, it will definitely help with your rap flow. The reason being that learning instruments requires some of the same rules of meter, tempo, and rhythm that flow requires. And having coached thousands of rappers, as we said, we know that people who always get the flow fastest are people who have played an instrument before. More specifically, people who have played drums due to what you learned in rap flow secret number 12. Now, if you haven't learned drums, of course, that's okay. All instruments help. But if you are currently a student, we would suggest paying attention to music class, even if you don't go the whole way and learn an instrument. Additionally, how to rap has a fast track method to learning rap flow and improving your rap flow in our flow freedom course, in which we will teach you exactly how to become free and creative in your flow choices. You can check that out in the first link in the video description. Rap flow secret number nine to improve your rap flow you don't have to be born with it one of the most demotivating things you read in comment boxes in some of the how to rap videos is people saying you're either born with it or not why do you need a video to learn how to rap usually when you actually research those people they either don't make music at all and are just talking nonsense haven't coached anyone to rap in their life whereas we've coached thousands or they do make music and it's terrible the fact of the matter is no hate to them but the fact of the matter is that music rhythm and cadence are not natural evolutionary skills the way that running or breathing or something else is. That doesn't mean that some people don't pick it up quicker than others, but it does mean that you don't have to believe that if it's difficult for you at first, that means you won't master it. Secret number eight to improve your rap flow is learning simpler flows than building up is best. The way I learned rap flow was from Tupac. I spent about two years writing rap and somewhat inherently knowing that I was off beat, but I couldn't figure out what the problem was until I started listening to Tupac a lot and I noticed his bars always ended roughly at the same spot and his verses felt very organized. As I studied more, I realized that he was organizing his rhymes and flow into a simple, easy to follow structure that I could emulate and then pepper in more complex flows as I got better. After realizing that, I was able to ride the beat a lot easier after only a few months. So if you're struggling with staying on beat, one of the best ways to learn is to take a simpler old school rapper and master their flow and then you can speed up. You can even hear the development of rappers like Eminem in this 
way. If you check out his early Infinite album, or even the Marshall Mathers LP, his flow was much simpler, and as he kept rapping, even as a professional adult rapper, he became more complex over time. Think about Rap Guy. If you keep rapping, you will also speed up, but you first must master a simple flow to learn your way around a beat, and then you can expand your repertoire. Secret number seven to improve your rap flow is right to the beat or your flow will sound whack. This is another common debate people get into online. I don't even think this was gonna be a specific issue until I began taking on clients and over time I would notice certain clients flow would sound fully out of sync with the beat. When I asked them what they were doing, they would often say, I wrote the song in complete silence and then I found a beat that I like as opposed to I wrote the song to an instrumental I enjoy. This does not work when you're learning how to rap. The only way you can get away with it is if you're already an advanced rapper and you have a simple Simple internalized flow in your mind that people can make beats to again like a Tupac with his albums that were released after he died but if you are just learning how to rap you will need to first master how to organize your syllables and cadences to the beats provided so I'd say for the first one or two years of your rapping be sure to write to the beat or your flow is gonna sound terrible. Rap flow secret number six is going off beat too much is like double dribbling. Occasionally you get people saying that they just rap off beat because that's their style or that they don't wanna sound too stiff. But to me, I've always thought of going off beat as double dribbling. Sure, there's the occasional blue face and artists like that that are known for being off beat, but do you really wanna be blue face? You can say you're playing basketball if you're double dribbling, but truth be told, nobody will want to play with you after a while because that's basically not the same sport. The reason I bring this up again is you should learn how to handle a beat and then stay on it properly and then you can mess around with going off beat occasionally as a stylistic choice. Rappers like Jay-Z, Drake, and Nas occasionally go off beat to make a point, but it's not the main way they are rapping. So don't lean on the it's my style excuse. When rapping, be sure to write to the beat. Secret number five, the more you write, the easier it will become to hear when you're off beat. This is more of a motivating point. On top of learning from the Tupac style of a simple flow and then converting it into more complex bars, as I wrote more and more and more and recorded more and more, I began to tighten up my hearing for when I was off beat. Often I see a lot of new rappers come in for coaching and I notice that they're struggling with flow issues and the first thing I tell them is simply keep writing and recording more because even just reps in the gym will help them know when they're off. Recording in addition to writing is an important point though. You need to be forcing yourself to rap the words out loud in addition to what you write so that you can hear when you're bunching the words too much and sliding in and out of beat. Secret number four, flow is often simpler right before the chorus. Another rap flow secret that almost every professional uses is slow the flow down right before the beginning of the chorus and make it feel like another part that could be a hook if they wanted to. In popular songwriting this is sometimes called the pre-chorus or a section of the song that helps transition and build tension from the end of the verse into the main hook or chorus. Artists like Kendrick Lamar, J. Cole, and Kanye West use the technique several times over the course of their career and one of the benefits of it is that it means you can finish the song faster. Which leads into secret number three, pre-write your breaths into the flow. This could be its own video and it will be at some point, but overall yet another thing I learned from Tupac was that you should be writing in spaces for you to breathe when you are deciding on your flow. A lot of beginner rappers are just writing extra long bars with no spaces and wondering why they're running out of breath. Part of the reason is that they're not pre-writing their breaths into the rat and making it hard to flow properly properly and stay on beat. So write with the breath in mind as you tighten up your flow. Again, we go deeper into this in the Flow Freedom course, so visit the video description. Secret number two, rap flow morphs and changes over time. This is similar to a point that we made in our 10 rap voice secrets nobody is telling you about video, and it's true that much like rap voice, rap flow morphs and changes over time. Go back and listen to the more static bar by bar flow of artists like J. Cole or Drake early in their career. Career. In the case of Drake, he did a very straightforward rhyme at the end of the bar flow with a little bit of Wayne vocal styling for the first couple albums until his later work where he would open up the flow and change it around some more. J. Cole similarly was much more straightforward in his flow choices in the sideline story than he would be in more recent works such as the off season. Your rap flow will have a similar evolution, so don't stress too much if you're unsure how good your flow is at this moment. And secret number one, don't just stick to one flow. We'll end this by saying to make sure to never settle into 
one flow for your whole career. Although there are many rappers who have a specific flow that they're known for, from rappers in the new generation, the baby's flow comes to mind, all the way back to the Method Man flow and so on, the rappers who are generally considered the GOATs are often also considered masters of a myriad, a variety of different flows. The Notorious B.I.G., Kendrick Lamar, Eminem, Jay-Z, and so on. So use this video and set of rap flow secrets as a reminder that you should always have a full arsenal of flows you can use on any given track to help you progress. Now, we want to see you in the comments. Who do you think has the greatest flow of all time? We're not necessarily saying you think it's the best overall rapper, but who do you think has the best flow of all time? Be sure to check out our Flow Freedom course if you want to take it to the next level. I appreciate you watching. It's the Big Homie Drew. I'm out.